The last thing that works really well for fiction covers is just a really close-up picture of a face. So I'm going to take this one, for example. And when you have a really close-up of a face, you don't really need any kind of a setting or background. You could still leave a little bit on the bottom. I would always put a face up on top and not on the bottom of a book cover. And so I could, I mean, I could delete a little bit of this and then add a little bit of a background on the bottom. But mostly it's just about, I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of scene because you do need to think about telling readers what setting and what genre it's in. But if you do it well with just the face and the text, you'll be able to communicate most of that anyway. I'm just getting rid of these hard lines. And there's going to be this gap between the two, so I'm going to need to fill that with a solid color. I haven't been doing much with the text so far in these samples. Um, I'll probably do other videos where I focus more on the text. This is more just about the pictures and the art. But it's kind of boring to have the text plain white like this. I'm going to change the title for this one. So at the very least, I'd want to add a gradient. By going to layer style and gradient. But actually, I would probably prefer to add some kind of a texture. And if you want to put a layer of a texture over just one other layer in Photoshop, I'm going to put this in front of the text. And then I'm going to right click and go to create clipping mask. And that's going to put my texture just on top of here. And um, it doesn't quite show up because it's so dark on the edges, but I can change the opacity a bit so that there's just a bit of the texture. Or I could just change the blending mode. Anyway, I could do something like that. If you have a really close up face like this, it's going to be pretty powerful. You want to choose a face that fits with the genre and that has the right kind of emotion. Um, but if you have a face that's powerful like this, it's going to work to catch attention 
and it's going to be pretty strong. It's probably going to be better in a lot of cases than just having one smaller character. And I could do the same thing with a different genre. Maybe something like this. And you don't even really need to put the setting. This cover might work better with just the face. Maybe a little texture around the edges without any scene like this. But I'm going to stop this video now and move on to something else. 